right, welcome back everyone. We're jumping right into things today. Uh, first off, I got these here, plates here cut out. Um, just kind of obviously fill up, fill up the gap there. And got a little more gap over here than we do on this side, but just turn, uh, turn your welder down. It'll zip right in there. And then I got this here cleaned up. I don't know if you knew what that looked like before. Um, you know, obviously from the camera before you could, you kind of tell, but there was quite a significant gap around there. So I went with something like this and decided that that might look good. So that's what I went for. And then I just kind of like, uh, you know, whenever you, I don't know, sheet metal for me anyway, even no matter how many times you clean it, you always get some kind of little porosity. Like it's pretty windy today. So you saw me in the video there, you know, I just weld, then I just tacked a few places, grinded back down, and got pretty much all the uh, little porosity spots out of it. But anyhow, when you're working outside, you got to deal with, got to deal with uh, porosity. But anyhow, so got the kind of wrapped up. I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, wheel wells out, but I'm going to work on. And so I'm going to leave uh, the tube behind here, obviously, is like a three inch tube. So... Roughly, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room. Uh, I'm not gonna, that way I don't cut into it. But we was gonna come from here. And how I'm gonna do that maneuver, and this is probably something that most know, and maybe another trick, but I got my marker and I got a string. So let me uh, figure out how to prop the camera up here. So, what I'm going to do, um, yeah, maybe that'll work. But anyhow, so I'm going to go from the center, right here, the center of the wheel, and then I'm going to go up, take my line, and from here, I can draw, you know, a, uh, whatever I need to, and then I kind of, you can kind of see a uh, real faint mark, maybe not, but anyhow, that's kind of one trick, you know, you, you know, a compass with a, uh, you know, pencil, marker, whatever, and a string, and you put it in one line, and you can, you can create some, uh, you know make a circle now one thing to remember I think I'm pretty much lined up um, the rear of the truck so the four length should be aligned you know this way in the back and it should be about where it's going to be but just keep in mind obviously if you're you know working factory suspension and you're building a bed it's going to be where it is but mine's custom so therefore it might change a little bit but anyhow I'm going to go ahead and cut out as you can see right here um, roughly it's going to be all the way from over here to here so we're going to cut out quite a good uh, good portion of it and also I'm going to, I'm going to make a mark just to visually um, you know to go by but also I could probably uh, tie this on the end of the plasma cutter I'll probably do that way it gives us a nice, nice uh, you know nice arc and I'll have to do it by hand so I'm going to do a mark both sides we'll cut that out and then uh Probably put in some fender material and so on and so forth. So let's get started on that. So I struggle with this more than uh, probably should have. I, my little uh, bottle jack I got is not here right now, but that would have been the easiest thing to do is put it in here and pop, 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 and uh, go all the way around. But I got it close enough. It's a good, uh, good start. Um, what I'm going to do probably, I'm just going to trim off the excess here to where it comes there, and then here I'll trim from there and come out and just make a little little radius there on the back. Um, what was the thing I was going to say? Um, oh yeah, so, um, two things, number one was, every, every time I've done a fender so far, I put it on the outside, and it makes it so much easier, because, um, you just tack it on 
over here, you know, on one side, front of the back, and you tack it on the outside, and all you can do is just, you know, it'll be sticking up here, but you just keep bending around, keep tacking around, and by the time you get to the other end, it's all, it's all good. You turn off the excess, and you're done. But here, what I did for that is uh, got this old uh, air tank, and I just made the extra, made it extra, um, an extra radius, so I got it up in here first, and then I can kind of just bend it out and tack it as I went, you know, vice versa. So that's what I did on that. That's kind of a uh, my tip, uh, tip on how to do it. Many more ways to do fenders. You know, you can get, um, you know, kind of pre-made ones. You can get a shop to bend, uh, bend you some fenders, whatever. But that's just how uh, how I've always made them. But like I said, I'm gonna cut the excess off, and then I'll make a radius to where it'll just be, um, you know, it'll start from here and then work out to this point. So I'll cut those off now, and then, uh, yeah, same thing on the other side here. And then on the inside, I'm gonna add in some like two by two tube on the inside of here to brace this, and then I'll probably brace up to uh, these braces on the bed as well. But anyhow, I'm gonna cut that excess off and kind of shape it up a little bit first. Okay, so I've been uh, trying to figure out how I want to lay out my lights, and it's pretty good. I don't know. I want to try to get them up higher, but I can't go up too high because the uh, tube from the bed is behind right there. So I'm not sure about that yet, but anyhow, I got that cleaned up. Um, this is the same design I had on the last, um, the other flatbed build I did, and I liked how it turned out, so did it again. Still think that looks pretty cool. Um, Overall, I'm liking how it's uh, turning out, but once again, I'm losing daylight, and uh, it's about all the time I got to work on it this evening anyway, so anyhow, give you a shot of the uh, side here, so maybe, 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 um, also under here real quick, um, this is where the lights will come through on the back side and I don't want to be able to you to be able to see the lights from the back here so probably what I'll wind up doing is putting a plate from like here 
and going over or maybe back here even and going to that back of that member there so that way I can do work on the lights from you know um, I don't know yet I'm not sure I'll be able to run all the wiring pull the wires through put the lights in then shut the lights in so I can be able to be still be able to wire it but not sure I'm gonna do that yet but anyhow so anyway guys that's gonna wrap up for this video um, I know it didn't get too much done but obviously uh, every little bit helps on this project so anyway that's uh, gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching guys and see you guys on the next one